and I are here on Harley Street starting a new vlog for you guys. We've literally just come out of the clinic. Um, we nice. are setting Hi, things nice. up. Nice. FYI, this is the sort of sexual harassment that everyone's complaining about recently. That people just think that they can just shout nice to you and that you're going to appreciate and it. And they're still shouting. Yeah, and there's people opposite us who are literally just saying. Anyway. Um, How bad is this, guys? Literally, I'd <laughs> rather go into the road than stay there yeah. for an extra minute. Yeah, it's a shame that, like, that's what we have to go through. But that wasn't the point that we started our <laughs> vlog on. Let's try, and, let's, let's try and go back to a positive note. We're on Harley Street. We just set things up for the clinic. Guys, we are back and open from the 12th of April. So come and have a little chat to us on the Instagram, Dr. S Aesthetics. Guys. We are so excited to have you back. We have new procedures. We We're have so excited for great this. procedures. You have to check it out. So are you gonna tell everyone what procedures are coming to Dr. S Aesthetics? So we've got the vampire facial. You know that. We've got PRP for hair growth and anti-wrinkle treatments. And then we've got fat dissolving injection. That's our As per your request. Because yeah. we've had so many of this requested. That is our exciting announcement that is yes. coming to the Instagram of Dr. S Aesthetics. But you heard it here first. Also, London weather today is just so beautiful. And all of London just looks so picturesque. Um, yeah, this weather is just divine. It's apparently going to be up to 21 degrees today and tomorrow will be 23 degrees. So Sol and I have We have to get some stuff sorted yeah. for the clinic. And we're now we're gonna way. now we're gonna grab some lunch. Maybe sit outside somewhere because the weather is so nice and have a little coffee and a lunch and then get back home. But yeah, it's been a nice start to the day. It's been brilliant. Yeah. So Sol and I grabbed lunch and ate it on the sidewalk, literally, right Sol? Literally sat in a window. Yeah, it was literally on the sidewalk um, on Baker Street because there was nowhere to sit. But it was so nice and it was sunny and we just had a lunch. We came home, we both had a nap because we're both tired. I don't know why I'm tired, I know why Sol's tired. Um, but anyway, I'm making lunch, no, I'm making dinner now, and I'll show you guys what it is, but it's basically chicken, um, a scallop, or buttermilk chicken, from m and and I'm making it with stuffed bell pepper, but you guys will see when I have it. So, this is the dinner that I made, and to be honest, I feel like it looks, it looks quite appetizing, I think it's more appetizing in real life. Um, then it looks on the camera, but the good thing is it's on the healthier side of things I know you're thinking breadcrumb chicken isn't that healthy, but to be honest I like it more than plain chicken and The calorie difference isn't that much for me to not have the one that I prefer so I'm so excited to eat this So I've just finished my workout, which is why I look an absolute state guys. <laughs> my dad doesn't spare you in the background <laughs> um, My dad is making breakfast I'm not having this because it is almost 12 o'clock and I'm going, finally we're allowed to go out and like meet someone from another household. So I'm going to the park to see my friend Celia. I'm so excited, we're gonna grab some sushi and just chill and yeah, it's been a long, long, long time coming. Um, so my dad is making omelette, say hi dad. Hello, um, how are you? What, look at that, look at this. Look at that knife, what is that? Yes, that's that's not, it's like some sort of special knife. That's um, a special knife for the cooking. Um, what are you making? Omelette, a special omelette. It's a, it's a onion, garlic, yeah. and ginger, red and green pepper, after tomato eggs. Wow, so I look gross. I'm gonna go shower and get ready and also pack up my stuff from the garden and yeah I'll see you guys when I'm dressed and ready. So I thought I would quickly show you guys my outfit. This dress is so not something that I would usually wear. It belongs to Sol and it's like this long, I think it's from H&M. 
um, dress with like the ruffles at the front and you can wear it off the shoulder like this or over your shoulder like that. Um, I think I prefer, prefer it off the shoulder. I think it just looks more like flower girl vibes and like really cute. I wore it with this belt to like kind of cinch my waist in otherwise I just look like a block. Um, and then because this was black and gold I matched it with a black and gold bag and um, gold jewellery so I really like that and then I'm going to wear my new sunglasses I wore these the other day on Instagram I've got so many questions about where they're from they are the gift sign I got me for my birthday they're gentle monster x fendi um, sunglasses I love them they're so cool the only thing I have to say is when you wear red lenses and then you take them off you get a headache like it's really odd so um, just bear that in mind if you are going to spend because they're quite pricey if you are going to spend just make sure you try them on the shops and make sure you're okay with like, putting on the red lenses and then taking them off. They are really cool. And so this is just, sorry, there's a mirror here. That's why I keep looking. But this is like my little look for my little park picnic date. And I'm so excited. I also did my makeup, like, just my usual, you know, self. The whole bronzy, bronzy, bronzy look. And black eyeliner. I love me a bit of black winged eyeliner. Um, and I didn't want to dry my hair, but my mum was all, if you don't dry your hair, then you're going to catch a cold. Iranians have this saying, So it doesn't matter if you're a doctor or whatever qualifications you have, your mum still knows best about wet hair, guys. So that's what I had to deal with. <laughs> She's shouting from upstairs saying that's true. The most wonderful combo here is Oka, <laughs> Celia. The sun, Primrose Hill. We're on our little gully. Oh my, I didn't realize there was two containers. No, neither. This container thing is a dream. This so we got really Oka, which is our like favorite sushi spot ever. And their food is the yummiest, look at that. My mouth is watering. What, what a cute day. And the weather's so good. Last time Celia and I did this, I actually vlogged it. It ended up raining, <laughs> didn't it, see? We were literally, as soon as we finished our sushi, it ended yeah. up raining, so. So this time. Yeah. Better luck this time, hopefully. Solmaz is home from work. I've just eaten so much food. I'm back from my park trip. Guys, I am Zoom video call ready. If you've been working from home, you know. The weather in London has actually been so beautiful. Also, Celia got me these wonderful vintage Christian Dior gold earrings. They're like clip-on style. I don't know how to put them on so that they're the right way around. Um, I'll show you guys. But if anyone knows how to put them on or if they're meant to be the wrong way around, someone please let me know if they know how I can get these on the right way around so that it has the Christian Dior the right way. Because I don't actually know. Um, but they're so adorable and they're so me, so I love them. The weather in London for the rest of the next few days is meant to be amazing, which I'm happy about because I'm on annual leave for a total of 10 days. I've already had four of those days. She's literally just standing in front of me munching like that whilst I speak to you guys. So yeah, I've already had four of those days, so I have another six more days to go. Ideally, I took ten days off in a row so that if I wanted to go on holiday, lol, I would be able to take this holiday. Because obviously we book annual leave in advance. A lot of you guys were wondering what annual leave meant in my last vlog where I had annual leave. I've said that so many times now. So what it is, is... In a year, as a junior doctor or as in any job, you're allowed a certain number of days off as leave that are paid. So that's what we call annual leave. Um, so I get an average of nine days of leave per job. But like my next job, I think I get a bit more because we start a bit earlier. So yeah, it depends job to job. But I booked this annual leave about four months ago. So I was thinking that maybe there would be no travel restri restrictions at this point or something and I would be able to and travel. How you get back to in most two to four, two to four what? Weeks per year. So I'll say in most jobs you get two to four weeks for annual leave per year. But yeah, I was thinking that I would get, a, I would get t an opportunity to go on holiday, like if I was being idealistic, in which case I booked like, so that it works out to be 10 days in a row. Because basically if you have the weekend off already, then that doesn't count as part of your annual leave. So let's say I took Monday to Sunday off but I had Saturday and Sunday off already then I'm only booking five days of annual leave if that makes sense so for those of you wondering about adult life and summer holidays and stuff like that it's nowhere near as beautiful as it is when you're a student so 
that's something that I would enjoy if I was you guys. But yeah, I'm just trying to use this time to create content for you guys and um, get a lot of like my tasks that I need to get done done, sorting out clinic stuff and just relaxing really, which is what you should be doing on your break. Good morning, it is day is it it's wednesday um and oh it's the last day of march how sad i love march and it's the day that this video is going live um i did a huge boots order and i've literally not even washed my face yet um because i was really excited to come downstairs and open this because i wanted to show you guys what i got from boots and as far as i'm aware they have 20 percent off of literally everything like all the like designer makeup and stuff like that does that even make sense design and makeup i don't know it's too early for me to function guys but basically um i did a huge boots order because i was like let me take advantage of this 20 percent and then i thought i'd share it with you guys because if you guys um buy any like makeup that's branded even non-branded stuff but i think 20 percent off is off the branded stuff like not the high street makeup so i thought that i would share it on here with you guys so that if you guys wanted to um buy your makeup you could get 20 percent off too and this is in no way an ad nothing that i'm showing is sponsored and it's not boots ad either i wish i was sponsored by boots Okay, so in the first box, we only have one item. If anyone watched the Madison Beer Vogue makeup routine, they would know what this item is. It is the Lala Retro Whipped Cream um, by Drunk Elephant. I needed a new moisturizer, and I was using the Walida uh, Skin Food, and I really, really liked it, but I felt like it could be a bit too thick sometimes so i wanted to get this to try it and it's really cool because um when you press it down it like the cream comes out of it and it's whipped um let's try to open this so it looks like this it's quite big actually this is the 50 ml and i think I, it was like 50 pounds down to 40 so yeah and then the top looks like that and then you would just press like that and then the cream would come out whipped so I'm excited to try that and I'll let you know how I get along with it. So the next thing in this box is the Drunk Elephant Littles set. Um, I bought the um, Littles set of, like a mini set of uh, Sunday by the Vitamin C Serum and the Retinol Night Owl. It was called the Multivitamin Set and I loved that. I feel like it really like worked well on my skin. Um, but I've had so many raves and reviews about Drunk Elephant. Literally as soon as I stopped using, like I ran out of the little set, is when my skin kind of broke out which it's much better now, by the way, if you compare it to my previous vlog that I shot a few days ago. But yeah, um, as soon as I stopped using it, I noticed a difference. But I thought, why not try Drunk, Drunk Elephant? It's literally the highest rated skincare on so many websites. So in this little set, um, oh wow, so everything that it, it includes is inside this card piece of card this was i think around 60 pounds and then you could still get 20 percent off it which was amazing so inside this set um we have a c firma um serum a b hydra serum so the c firma contains vitamin c the b hydra contains vitamin b um we have the umbra sheer sheer daily spf and then we have the sea tango under eye cream we have the bestie number no. nine purifying cleanser we have the TLC Frambus Pore and Texture Refining Gel, the Virginia Marula Oil, um, I think, which is like a nighttime serum, and the Proteini Moisturizer, which is the other moisturizer that they do. So they separate it for you so that this is your AM routine. So this is your AM routine and this is your PM routine. So I think that that really like makes it easier and I just think this whole thing is really cool. It comes in a nice bag, doesn't it guys? I'm not actually seeing everything for the first time with you guys, but I think that I need like a little makeup bag like this to put in my handbag so I can definitely use that. Then you open it up and there's a little booklet of how to use everything. And then we have each of the products. So we have five ml of the C Tango, five ml of the B Hydra, we have 15 ml of the Proteini moisturizer, which is quite good actually. Um, 30 ml of the jelly cleanser number nine. Eight ml of the glycolic night serum TLC Frambus. Eight ml of the Virgin Marula Luck Fru facial oil. Eight ml of the Sea Firma Day Serum. And 15 ml of the Umbra Sheer Physical Daily Defense SPF. 
So I think that's, to be honest, I think to be honest, that's quite a lot. That is quite a lot of stuff, to be honest. So I hope that I really like it. And it's nice to kind of have everything you need for skincare all in one place. And that was £60. So you don't need to buy the first moisturiser um, if you don't want to. Like, you don't need to because there's a moisturiser in this as well. And there's everything you need. So I think it's quite a cool thing to buy. Next, I have the Huda Beauty's Bomb Brows Brow Pencil. Um, I've always wanted to try this. I just thought, why not now? Especially where there's the discount. Might as well check it out. And it's not that different to the NYX, price-wise, to the NYX um, brow pencil that I love using. So it looks like it's double-ended. This side is twisty. It's quite nice packaging as well, to be honest. Um, like, you won't lose it in your makeup table. You know when things are so small and fine that, like, when you're trying to search for it in the morning, you just can't find it? Then the other side is a spoolie. So I'll let you know how I get along with that, too. I'll let you know how I get along with everything, to be honest, because there's so much new stuff I got. Um, I also got the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer. I'm so excited to try this. I tried a Laura Mercier Primer in summer. It was my friend's, and I really liked it. Um... So I've been using the e.l.f. one for ages and I just thought, why not try a different one? So this is the blurring primer, by the way. So there's like different types of the pure canvas and this is the blurring one. So I just wanted to get one that's for oily skin to kind of keep my shine under control. And this one had the best reviews across a lot of websites. So I've done my research, guys. Um, and yeah, it's the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Blurring Primer. Oh, it's a twisty. And it looks like a cream. I was expecting it to be a pump, a bit like the Too Faced. Oh, that feels nice. It feels somewhere between Elf Poreless Primer, where it's silicone-y, and, and just the Too Faced, like, very hydrating gel. So that's quite cool. And then we have my favourite mascara, the Bambi Eyes Force Lash. I literally tried it a month ago and fell in love. It is incredible. It makes your eyelashes look so long. Um, then I got a NYX London Lip Liner. Absolutely love it. Then I got another Lala Whipped Retro Moisturiser. It looks like I've accidentally put two into my basket. Um, let's hope I really like this. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> okay, so we have two whipped moisturisers. It is what it is. Um, oh, I know why. They've forgotten my foundation. So I also ordered a foundation. And it is not in here. So they've accidentally given me two moisturisers and no foundation. Um, but still all different boots. It's got 20% off and I'm sure that they will sort this out. I think the foundation was meant to go in here and they've accidentally given me two moisturisers. That is weird. Um, so clearly I've got a mess to sort out this morning. But I'm going to end this vlog here. I hope that you guys enjoyed this little mini haul at the end as well. Um, let me know what kind of videos you want to see from me the next few days. I'm going to try and see if I can upload every other day if you guys are interested. So if you are, also let me know in the comments. Because you guys know I love reading and replying and liking the comments. Um, so yeah, please make sure to tell me. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It honestly goes such a long way for me. Um, so I would really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe down below my socials are always linked in the description my instagram is persian bunny my snapchat is sefi samai and my tiktok is persian underscore bunny i love you guys so much and i'll see you next time bye